Hey everyone, it's Monday here on Lesbian Central and I am Haley. I haven't seen y'all in a little bit of time and I apologize. We've been going through some changes on the channel that you will hear about soon enough. Um, so don't fret, don't fear, we are still here and we are queer. Let's just jump right into the topics and what we're talking about this week is a question sent in from a viewer that deals specifically with being in a very controlling relationship. Um, how about I just read you the question thing and then we'll go from there. I'm also laying really awkwardly on my bed right now. I'll show you what's going on at the end of my feet. There's Henry and then this, oh it's really hard to do, that's Lucy right there and then that's my clothes. It works. Here is the question topic that was sent in by a viewer. She says, I'm in a controlling relationship. I need help on how to break up and get out of this relationship. I know that when I break up with her, she's going to try and pull me back in. It's happened before and she's called me that same night and pulled me back in. And now she's even more controlling than she was before. I do love her, but I'm not happy like I was when we first started dating. Can you help me? First and foremost, what I think I would advise is Definitely having this conversation, let's call it a conversation, even though we all know it's a breakup, um, doing it in a public space. Now, some people may not agree with me on this, but breaking up with someone and how like mean and unfair it is to do in a public space. But I think that in this um, certain case, it is for the best. Um, not only will it help you to stay more composed, will it help hopefully your partner to stay more composed in the situation to not um, completely lash out. Also, in case anything goes wrong or you feel threatened, you feel unsafe, there are other people around you and you are in a safe environment that is easy to get out of, is easy to have witnesses. Not saying that this could end badly, but I don't think it's a bad precaution to take. You are trying to get out of a controlling relationship, which probably means that this person does not want the breakup. They are not ready for it. They are going to put up a fight. So what I think you need to do is you need to practice. And it may seem silly at first, but you really need to sit down either by yourself or with a friend and plan out what you want to say. Write it out in key points, first of all. Write it on cue cards. Just get a piece of paper and pen. Write out all the key points that you want to hit. So this is why it's not working. Let me give you the reasons. List them off. I feel this way when you do this and I don't like it and I'm not going to put up with it anymore. And this is why. You need to write it down so you can f see it, first of all, so that you don't lose your courage, because I've had this happen to me before, you sit down to have a talk with someone, you're ready, you know what you're going to say, you feel all empowered, and then all of a sudden you sit down and you look at that person and it just, you draw a blank or you're just not able to say it. So you really need to organize your thoughts and practice it. Sit down with a pet if you have to, that may sound stupid, but just talk it out like you would normally with this person and practice and practice and practice, go over until it feels natural and you can really be behind it. Do you know what I mean? I also think it's a really good idea to set down ground rules for how this breakup is going to look after this conversation ends. Now, I know this may be hard because you say that this is you're coming from a very controlling relationship, but now is the time to put down your foot. You need to say that I need space. I am taking space. You need to demand that. You need to demand to be alone. Say, I will not hear from you. I will not respond to you. If you text me, if you call me, if you show up, I do not want to hear from you. And you need to be firm about this. You can't say, yeah, well, maybe we'll talk in a day or two or like text them afterwards or have them text you because you're just giving in and you're sending them the message that you're weak and that they can um, take advantage of the situation again. And that's not what you want. You want this to be the final cut, the end to this whole relationship that is not making you happy anymore. 
Um, I feel like I could keep going on and on and on about this topic. It's really important. There's a lot to be said, but I will leave that up to the rest of the girls this week. I hope that everyone's having a great week so far and that you enjoy the rest of your week and enjoy the rest of our videos and I'll see you next Monday. Okay, bye guys.